Biden mother is suing the state, saying it rejected her application to adopt a pair of siblings under the age of nine because of her Christian belief that gender and sex are not a choice. Apparently, her faith goes against Oregon's adoption policy. It says applicants must, quote, respect, accept, and support the sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression of any adopted children. Jessica Bates is the mother of five who filed the suit, and Christiana Kiefer is a senior counsel with Alliance Defending Freedom. Ladies, thank you for being with us this morning. Yes, thank you for having me. Of course. So, Jessica, I want to go to you first. Um, is tell us what's going on. Is is it really as as crazy as we think? <laughs> it's a little hard to believe, but but yeah, I had successfully made it through some of the training and had been several months into the process, and then reported to my certifier because they've really um, emphasized the sexual orientation, gender identity training that you have to support it. And so I emailed her and told her I, I couldn't do that because of my faith. And then we had a phone call and because I wouldn't take a child for cross-sex hormone injections, um, I was basically told that I'm ineligible to adopt in the state of Oregon. So is this a new policy or has this been in place for a while and we're just now starting to hear about it? You know, I'm not 100%. I know that their resource and adoptive families training was a new one from what I was told or had been recently updated, and I'm not sure if the sexual orientation stuff was a, a new change to that. Okay. And then, Christiana, tell us a little bit about this lawsuit. What are you, what are you seeking in it? Well, Oregon is essentially putting ideology and politics over children. It says that it welcomes people from all cultural and religious backgrounds to adopt unless they disagree with the state's gender ideology. And as you heard earlier, I mean, barring Jessica and other parents from adopting just because of their religious convictions clearly violates the First Amendment. It's wrong and it hurts children who need a forever home. So we filed a federal lawsuit and we hope that the state of Oregon will ultimately do the right thing and allow Jessica to proceed with the adoptive process. So right now, is is the the adoption completely off the table, the paperwork, or is it just on pause? I mean, how does this work? Uh, well, I received the phone call towards the end of September that verbally told me we're basically putting your application on hold. And then towards the end of November, I received an official denial le letter that your application has been denied. What are you hoping comes out of this lawsuit? Well, I'm hoping to be able to adopt, and I'm hoping that Oregon's discriminatory policies can be changed. Christiana, have you ever heard of something like this happening? Because I haven't. Well, unfortunately, we're seeing increasing instances across the country of state governments really pushing their extreme gender policies uh, down the throats of their citizens. And it's really disappointing that an incredible mom like Jessica has been barred from providing a forever home to children in need simply because of her religious convictions. Again, it's wrong. It violates the First Amendment and it hurts children. Ladies, good luck on this lawsuit. Um, I hope you get what you want out of it. And I, I hope these siblings can be adopted. Jessica Bates and Christiana Kiefer, thank you so much. Thank you.